Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk about what boot you should have as a structural engineer. Um, now, very simple, very straightforward. The first ones that you need to have, maybe not like in a hard copy, but at least on PDF, are all the books that are on the NCES website uh, for the PE exam. So basically what I mean is like uh, all the codes. You want the steel code, you want the concrete code, you want the masonry code, you want the wood code, you want the ashto code, uh, there's more code that they recommend. So you want to try to get all of these books. Uh, try to get the latest edition, like I said they don't have to be a hard copy but it's good to have them because those are going to be like to, your go to resource for all design purposes. Now on top of that these are just general education books that you will, uh, that you will want to have. Now the books that you want to have also you want good design books. What I mean by good design books, you, you want books that explain like the procedure to design stuff in, in a very efficient and clear way. So for example, let's say I have a concrete book, right? That I got in college, huh? Which is a good book, I, 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 used, I still use that book, but it's not as comprehensive. But my boss, he has this really cool reinforced concrete book and it's like super thick and it's like, uh, I don't remember, analysis, Analysis and design of reinforced concrete structures. It's super comprehensive. It has great examples that tell you everything step by step. It can be a little overwhelming, but that's that's okay. That's everything you need. That's the only book that you will need for concrete reinforced concrete design. So you want to have a book for all of these things that is very comprehensive. That has like examples and like procedures for everything you can see in work. I mean, it's gonna be gonna be very hard to find one book that fits this category. But I mean, you can probably two or three books of on each. You can probably be pretty good. Uh, steel book, concrete book, those are like your basic. Like every structural engineer should have them. Like very, very good design of structural and concrete books. And, on and then on top of that, you want like masonry books, wood book, wood book books, and maybe some spe special books on special design, like special design of this, special design or that, uh, polymers or like composite or composites and stuff like that. But that's a very good library to have. Uh, structural engineers usually have like very huge libraries. Uh, you have Joyce catalog, you have Dead catalog, you have all these design books, you have all these design guidelines, you have a lot of manuals. Uh, but it's good to have all this stuff. What is more important than having all these books is not to read the whole thing, but know where everything is. So for example, uh, I should be doing this more often. I did that with like a bunch of books that I have, like a concrete book and with the, my, the PE manual, uh, a bunch of books I've been trying to do this. Try to tap everything. What I mean is like, for example, you have the ASC code, for example. Try to like have tabs. I'm like, okay, wind design is here. Uh, components and cladding is here. Seismic design is here. You know, that way like you don't have to know it, but you will not lose as much time when you are trying to solve a problem. Try to be familiar with the book. Try to like, okay, this is a pier, this is a pier cap. Where can I find this? Okay, reinforced concrete. Okay, there's a tab here, go there. Don't lose time. Because we, we tend to lose a lot of time on this stuff. So it's more about having a good library, but also, but also knowing where everything is. Like I said, like, you don't need to know everything in engineering. <laughs> Actually, you need to know where everything is. And that way you can just figure it out because I mean, we're smart. We know how to solve things. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you can start building your own library for structural. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Give, us, uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any more tips or ideas, let me know. I also think it's very cool to like, if you have like, if you find like a really cool technical manual or, or like white paper that you think is very useful, you can print it out. Sorry, I totally, was going to end the video but I remember this. You can print it out and that will be a good resources. I also have like a, a folder called cheat sheets that basically I have like bar sizes and uh, well strength or like all stuff kind of stuff like diaphragm design but I, that I did so that I remember the process. It's good to have all these resources. Alright, um, I'm done now. <laughs> have a good one and subscribe to our channel. Bye.